In today's video, I've got five facts about Nezuko Kamado from the series Demon Slayer, slash a character analysis video. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 4 and 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that this video will contain spoilers, so just a heads up. But with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Nezuko is the younger sister of main protagonist of the series, Tanjiro. She is a former female human now turned demon and is 12 years old at the start of the series. Nezuko has long black hair that is worn down with white ribbons in her now demon state but was originally worn in a bun back in her human days. Her eyes were actually once dark red when she was human, they are now a bright pink. And I, I would have thought that that would have been like the other way around, you know, like dark red would be like demon and like pink would be like human but it it works it kind of adds that cute vibe i guess attire wise she wears a pink camino that has a star pattern with a red and white obi and black and um, um, overcoat i think it's howry i think but it's, it's basically like an overcoat thing <laughs> standout feature for this one is the piece of bamboo that she carries in her mouth just so cute i mean she's a demon and stuff but really cute <laughs> kawaii Personality-wise, Nezuko was formerly a very caring and kind girl that, you know, similar to her brother Tanjiro, would put others before herself. An example of this is when she refused to let Tanjiro buy her a new Kamino to replace her old and broken one and insisted that the money was used to make sure the whole family had food and that she'd just fix the Kamino that was broken. Of course, now she has forgotten the vast amount of her memories from her human years, all those except for a portion of memories that involve her family. Though she did keep her caring and protective traits through to her demon form, she will look out for and protect humans that she considers members of her now family. Nezuko's Japanese voice actress is Akari Kito. She has voiced other characters such as Suzune Horikita in Classroom of the Elite, Kana Ijima from Suzure Children, Haas in Gridman, now Himisaka from Wataten, and more. And of course, at the time of the making of this video, there has been no news on a dub for Demon Slayer, so I have no information on the dub VA if there is or isn't one. Of course, now Nezuko is a demon, she has gained demon-like abilities. These include the ability to change her body size, and she can do this at will, and you know, we'd often see her do this when she wants to fit into the basket her brother Tanjiro carries around during the day while she sleeps. And you know, this goes without saying, but her strength has very much increased. We have seen on a couple of occasions that she can now defend herself against attacks from other demons. Most noticeably was when she kicked the demon's head right off its body in episode 2. That was like... Damn. Damn. <laughs> now, later on down the line, she will gain a blood demon technique called Blood Burst. This technique allows her to instantly cause her blood to ignite into hot flames. So, that could be pretty cool. I imagine she'll just, like, throw blood on people and then just, like, ignite it. That kind of thing. Because, I mean, it seems pretty pointless just to ignite it while it's, you know, it's <laughs> from the inside. But, yeah, who knows? Speculation. Now, the big question looming over the series at the time of this video's release is who is the demon that murdered the Kamado family and turned Nezuko into a demon? Now, I have the answer, but of course, spoilers. So, you know what to do. Right then. The demon responsible for these actions is Muzan Kibitsuji. He obviously is a demon and the first of his kind, and the one who is responsible for turning most of the demons. The guy obviously looks like a bit of a douche. He has like a real kind of gangster vibe to him and is approximately over 1000 years old, which is insane. Now his backstory was that in his human years, he was infected with a disease and was told that he would die before he reached 20 years of age. Obviously the disease got worse and he was actually treated by a doctor that gave him a medicine called Blue Spider Lily. This made his body stronger, but turned him into a demon. Now, as for the why did he do this to the Kamado family, well, I'll save that for a later video. What a tease. But thanks for watching this is my video, 5 facts about Nezuko Kamado from the series Demon Slayer. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, of course, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video, as it really does help my videos reach a wider audience, and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace!